household has uh, has an aspiration of doing her own uh, pickle and chutney uh, business my mom also had that business but to see people do that business outside of india is uh, is interesting and i'm uh, actually very inquisitive to see taste and talk about eat me chutney Eat Me Chutney is a little mum's retirement plan that mm -hmm. kind of became a little business. Mm -hmm. And what we do now is we work with farmers around New South Wales mostly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and all the small scale ones, you know, um, run by families. Rescue the produce that they have that they can't sell or a bit wonky or a bit pear shaped. So we grab all that and we make it into chutneys. But it kind of didn't start that way. It kind of started with mum's little tamarind chutney, mm -hmm. which is a quintessential Indian chutney, but made it slightly funkier. And the idea was to try and like kind of find out everything behind the supply chain, right? Where it's coming from, who the suppliers are, how it's being grown. So we started off with that, but then there's all this produce in Australia that's amazing. So as we kind of went along, we saw all this produce that was kind of getting tossed out. We're like, well, we make this chutney, we know how to make chutneys. Let's grab all this stuff, put it in jars and make chutneys out of it, right? So that was kind of how it, the genesis of it, I suppose. That's how it started. That's awesome. Hey Maurice, how are you? Good nice man. Nice to meet you. Hey Maurice, friend of you. Friend of you. How are you doing? Good, thank very, you. Very, very good to see you. Welcome to our Alpha House. Thank you. It's a beautiful, it's, amazing, it's a beautiful place. Yes. Yeah. So we're here in Enmore, mm -hmm. on Enmore Road, directly across from an iconic Enmore Theatre. Our Falfa House has been around since 1981. Mm -hmm. um, it was formed by a group of people living in a share house, mm -hmm. um, and then what they wanted to do was create a source of whole foods and organic food so that they can supply it to directly from farmers directly to their friends and family. And then over the years it grew to become a food cooperative. So in 1988, uh, Alfalfa House Food Cooperative was established. Eat that's, that's our jars as well. That's the other. Um, that's why we love Alfalfa House because they were also our first stockists yeah. as we were growing as a business. So they were the first ones that came in. They said, "Look, we love your philosophy. So bring your chutneys in." And it's given us a nice little platform to kind of tell the people as well in the wider world instead of doing it to just the market. So um, it's kind of the ethos match as well with Alfalfa House. So nice. not a whole variety depending on what we rescue. Clove, tomato, and coffee, lime, tamarind, fig, and this is all they do. Or there are many more varieties. We kind of do them in a fairly ad hoc way. Better we be kind of rescuing produce. We're kind of like making things up as well. Makes so, sense. Makes you know, sense. change is very fast. Sometimes it can be a bit mind boggling. Rescuing produce, I like that. That's what it is, rescue chutneys. Are we going to taste them? Absolutely. All right, let's taste. Fantastic. We'll just grab that plate of crackers. We're going to try this guy here. balance yeah perfectly sweet and sour you know otherwise chutneys can get too sour or too sweet yeah, especially when they get too sweet right the too, yeah that's a put off but this is perfectly mm. balanced there you go. try this guy here this one's slightly different it's um it's eggplant with curry leaf mm. it's a bit of a mix and a lot of also the travels as well through asia they use a lot of these spices there so mm. and the other one is a slightly sweeter one mm -hmm. this one here is um tomato and kaffir lime and it's a very quintessential um, to me anyway a bit of an Australian barbecue type mm -hmm. chutney you know when you're having like a little sausage roll or a little um, burger patty thing happening on your barbecue barbie, then that's kind of what we take out I love it just the one that stands out yeah you know, yeah we wouldn't think of coffee lime and tomato back home sure but it's come together it's come together beautifully yeah right nice awesome yeah I need to meet your mom <laughs> Perfect. Too bad she isn't here. When's she back? She's back in November. I'm going to put up a holiday. She's like, I'm going to go on a holiday, you take care of this now. So that's what it is. I have it's to. It's great. I have to say, what's her name? Jaya. Hi, right, Jaya Ji. I'm in love with what I've tasted. And I am coming to meet you in November. <laughs> Thank you.